allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say does that This camp started in 2001. The idea came that if I could do it at 13 years old, I could run a store. That is, I did all the ordering, I, 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 I did all the markups, uh, I, I did all the credit, uh, I did the marketing. I said, young people can do that. And so the idea was born for BizCamp. This is an example part of, uh, of our BizCamp students from different years, and we have them scattered uh, out in the audience and they're gonna stand, we're gonna recognize them at a later, later date. So with, with, without further ado, I'm, we're gonna move on. You can read the rest. Uh, as Paul Harvest said, that's the rest of the story. Thank you. Four Hands, One Plan is a nonprofit organization we started to give back to the less fortunate in our community. Our first, but definite, definitely not our last event, was a Christmas celebration. Using the skills that we learned at the 2011 Biz Camp, we organized this event for 140 students attending the Johnny L. Cochran Head Start Center. The responses to our letters and emails about donations were, was slow at first, but with time and God, we received all the things we needed to make the event a success. The children enjoyed games, gifts, and a number of arts and crafts. We will never forget the smiles on their faces as they sat on Santa's lap and received their gifts. As teenagers, we were not expected to go out of our way or even to think about others during the holiday season. But we are not your average teenagers. We care about our world and making a difference. There are children in our community that go without every day, which is the motivation behind Four Hands, One Plan. This is a call to action. We challenge you. What can you do to help? Whether it's at work, in the classrooms, in your church, or even in your community, you can make a difference. If every one of us that could help, would help, the world would be in the state it's in. That's the model. Thank you, Ms. Camp, for providing the tools and the knowledge for making this possible. We thank you. Our speaker for this evening, Mr. Michael Donald. 